Hi guys, I'm just going to take you through how to set up a forum on Moodle 2.3. This is a demo course that I've got uh, set up, so first thing to do, turn um, editing on if it's not on already, and uh, add an activity or resource. The link is slightly different uh, now with 2.3, as is the interface once it pops up. There we go. Um, the interface is slightly different. Uh, it's quite nice actually because it tells you uh, if you're new to Moodle, uh, gives you a little bit of background, um, what the uh, basic settings are for uh, a particular activity, and also suggests a few ideas um, how you can use that particular activity. So click on Add. Um, give your forum a name, and there's five uh, standard types of forum built into Moodle 2.3. Um, single simple discussion, so nice and focused. Everybody replies to one um, topic, that's a uh, discussion point that the teacher would set. Each person posts one discussion, so that's one and only one, so your students can start off one discussion, that's slightly different from the standard form for general use, where they can start off as many forums, sorry, as many um, discussions uh, as they like. Um, Q&A forces them to post something before they are able to view the, um, the forum posts or the discussions from uh, other students, so that's quite nice if you want them to um, post original thinking uh, rather than uh, reading something that their peers have posted. Um, so that's the Q&A forum. Uh, and the last one there which is quite nice as well, that's the standard forum displayed in a blog-like format. So um, comparing that to the standard forum for general use, the standard forum uh, on the front page of that forum, it only put um, only puts the title of the new discussion, whereas blog-like format it um, puts the content of the uh, the discussion flat on the page um, with uh, another link so you can reply to it if you want to. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to leave it on standard. Give it a description, same as anything else in Moodle and new with Moodle 2.3 you can display display that description uh, on your course page as well. Choose whether or not you want your students to automatically be subscribed to your forum. Uh, the auto there, uh, that initially subscribes them, then they can unsubscribe if they want to. Uh, the read tracking highlights posts that haven't been read, so that's quite a nice function. Uh, I tend to set that to on most of the time. Attachments, uh, if you want uh, your students to attach things to their posts. Um, blocking, I tend not to use this, uh, but if say you have, um, if your students tend to use a forum more uh, as a chat rather than considering what they're posting, uh, you can block their posts. So you could say, well, every two days maximum um, five posts within two days um, and it will send them a warning after say three posts. So the thinking behind that is that they consider what they're posting um, if they know that they're going to be limited. Grade category, that's uh, the grade categories on the grade book um, where the grades for your forum will appear if, um, if you're using grades um, I'm quite a strong believer uh, of the importance of comment-based um, marking. So um, to enable any of the ratings on the forums, you have to choose one of the aggregate settings. So that might be the maximum rating or the average. Um, and then attach a scale to it. So you could have a number scale, a letter scale, or um, one of these custom grade scales which are um, that will just allow you to attach 
a comment uh, as a grade to a forum so that one's just simply helpful or not helpful for a particular post and of course you can restrict that using the date range if you want to as well you can set up groups and groupings groupings um, that's, that's uh, an advanced feature your site administrator will need to enable that um, have a look on Moodle.org you can use groups and groupings to restrict a particular forum to just one or two groups if you want to uh, in fact you can use um, groupings to restrict any activity to um, certain groups uh, on your course um, restricting access so um, if you want to you can set it so that um, other activities have to be complete uh, before students can go on and access this forum um, uh, or sorry the one above there um, you can say that a particular activity um, has to achieve a certain grade or the overall course has to have a certain grade before students can access this particular forum uh, that's very similar on a lot of the activities now um, and then activity completion uh, again this needs to be enabled by your site administrator um, you can have students mark the activity complete if they've completed it um, or which is really interesting you can choose to have the activity marked as complete if, if I check some of these settings I could require students to make um, actually let's use the other one uh, we can have students to create two new discussions and reply to at least three uh, three other ones um, so that's really forcing them to um, to use the the forum before it's marked as complete and then you've got um, completion tracking which you can use to uh, monitor which of your students have met this criteria and which haven't of course that doesn't um, give you any indication of the quality of their feedback um, if you do want to uh, make sure that they're good quality posts you can um, have that uh, for completion it requires a grade and then only uh, you'd have to manually check yourself and only give quality posts grades up in the um, up in the rating section there so there we go, that's how to set up forums, Moodle 2.3. Um, do it, have a go. Thanks, thanks for listening.